Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video, we are working more on my modern Japanese city island. If you're new to my channel, first I wanna say welcome. I do a lot of cozy gaming and of course, a ton of Animal Crossing content. Today's video is an island that I've been working on for the past few weeks on my channel. I've done a lot of different cherry blossom cities, but this one is easily becoming my favorite just because I'm putting a lot of effort into it. So this island's plan is to basically decorate everything from top to bottom. So we're gonna be doing interiors. We're also gonna be doing the beaches and on my channel I normally don't do these on the islands that we're working on mostly because I just honestly get really burnt out on a theme and I'm ready to start something new but the thing is I'm not planning to return to an island theme like this anytime soon once it's um, completed so I wanted to make sure the island had my full entire effort I usually work really fast on islands so if you're new here you probably don't know this information but I can get an island done usually in a week and a half two weeks max this island however I've been working really slow on just because I want to make sure I'm happy with every spot on the actual map. So it's been about a month and a half, I want to say, working on this island. Just like I said earlier, I really want to make sure every spot I'm happy with and I'm putting a lot of work into it. Anyways, on today's video, we're getting a little head start on our beach decorating. I thought this really small location kind of near my island entry would be a really good spot for some sort of a fish market. We actually talked about this on one of my Animal Crossing live streams and I just really liked the idea of incorporating the beach into a build. So to get started, on this build we're going to be using a combination of storefront retro transportation stop also customized simple panels every single code that I'm using on today's video and just all over my island in general will be found in the video's description at the very bottom I hope today's video brings you some Animal Crossing inspo if you're working on the same island theme let me know in the comments section if there's any type of build you really hope to see on this island too that feedback definitely will help me out being that we have a few more locations left to build on I really don't know what to do with them so some ideas would definitely be awesome to have. We're also working really close to one of my river mouths and I'm actually going to be terraforming a small stream to kind of do a double bridge over here near the edge of the map. I won't have this location done on today's video but I'll definitely have it finished hopefully by our stream on Wednesday. I was thinking maybe on the left side of this build we could do something more fish market related too being that we're at the edge of my map maybe I could just continue this whole theme until the whole bottom left is completely finished. This would also get some more beaches decorated too so I think that could be a really nice idea but of course y'all's feedback matters so let me know what you think about this idea in the comment section below. I wish I had more villagers for this location too but every single villager on my island is officially placed but if I could have a villager somewhere at this bottom left side that would also be ideal for some builds that I have in mind. I'm kind of considering on possibly adding another rep to the island and maybe we could do the interior kind of themed as a fish market store. I already have three houses on the island and I'm worried that I might get too burnt out with the interiors but of course if y'all want to see that interior build happen I will definitely tough it out and make some sort of a fish market um, store on the other side of this build today so y'all just let me know what you hope to see in the comment section. If it gets enough feedback I'll definitely make sure to have some sort of an interior around this on the island. So after some added details we're going to start prepping for the transition to the beach side of the build. I went ahead and added some party lights in front of the doorway and also some extra fish market clutter. I just think it filled up the location pretty well. So now that everything is done over there, I'm going to go ahead and get started on our beach decor. And over here, I'm going to be taking inspo from one of my great friends named Cherry.Crossing. We actually toured Cherry's Island on my channel recently, and it was this gorgeous, elegant, tropical island. And during the tour, I just loved this idea of extending the dock code to the edge of the map and onto the beach. And then it was framed with some log sticks so I'm gonna do kind of a Japanese version of this. On the left side of the dock I'm gonna be prepping a location now to kind of like place a gazebo item just to add like a really nice little covered area. I still wish till this day we could decorate underneath the gazebos like we can do that on Disney Dreamlight Valley but we can't do it on Animal Crossing but imagine all the possibilities if we could actually decorate underneath all the gazebo items. So obviously since we cannot do that I'm gonna be decorating with some fish market themed decor just around the gazebo. This is mostly just like a little filler build for this um, empty spot by the dock code. 
boat. Didn't really know what else to do over there. I didn't want to repeat more um, boats because if I am going to continue the fish market sort of vibe all over the bottom left side of the map, I want to do a really nice dock area. So I want all the focus of the boat decor to be kind of on that. I just feel like that would be a really great addition to today's video. So we'll probably try to start that hopefully by next live stream or video. Anyways, here is how today's build turned out. I think it fits absolutely perfect near this location by my entry. I hope that today's video brought you a ton of Animal Crossing inspo. Before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge thank you to all of my channel members. So a huge thank you to all of my amazing channel members, Iceberg, Kirby, Owen, Anderson, Jeff, Camille, Alyssa, Trisha Dunn, Queen V, Emily, Ellie Dogmeat, Sam the Pokeman, Amanda, Monica B, Catherine Funk, Cherry Blossom, Coffee, Z Toxic, Wisteria Crossing, Connor Adventure, V Bellarific, It's a Girl Crystal, Mickey Koo, Cherry Dot Crossing, Baby Blue X016, Irish Lady 51, Opal of Wisteria, The Artsy Gamer, Dami, Cosmon, Madison Rachel, and Adriana Dawson. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.